In Good Shape, your weekly dose of health information on Deutsche Welle. Find out more about what's new in medical treatment, alternative medicine, as well as nutrition, wellness, and beauty. Medical professionals, therapists, and counselors are in our studio to offer their expert advice on In Good Shape. With me in the studio today is Dr. Rainer Stange from the Emanuel Hospital in Berlin. He's an expert on complementary medicine and nutrition. Welcome to the show, Dr. Stange. Hi. Hello, When it comes to osteoporosis, how successful is diet in treating this condition? Well, it's one of the basics, of course. It's not the only condition that improves uh, osteoporosis or prevents. But, of course, in, uh, sufficient uh, supply of calcium is important, but also of other minerals, fluoride, whatever, and of especially vitamin D. Yeah, vitamin D, is it enough to take it uh, via nutrients and eat it, or do you need anything else to get a sufficient amount of vitamin D? Well, that depends, of course, in which part of the world you live in. You can check on your blood concentration. That's a, a very effective parameter. And then you may have to use a supplement. Yes, that often happens even uh, with people that live out, uh, outside th uh, their homes for lots of time. So should, should, should everybody go and see their GP to get some blood drawn and, and take the, the level of vitamin D? Well, in first case, those who are at risk, smokers, um, women who get their uh, menopause very early and, and this type of thing, people who have to take certain drugs and so forth. Mm -hmm. um, in your clinic you offer a, a new nutritional therapy. It's, it's like an outpatient department for nutritional therapy. So, so why are you doing this? What kind of conditions can you treat with just foods? Well, for example, people with rheumatic diseases often uh, have, have a lot of profit from certain uh, rules of uh, diet, uh, like more fish or more other intake of plant-based uh, omega-3 fatty acids and avoidance of arachidonic acid, which, which is found in animal uh, food especially, and more uh, green vegetables, more fruit. They often uh, have profit from that. So we got a lot of viewers who can't come into your outpatient department, but we got Facebook and we got a lot of questions for this. And uh, on our Facebook page, um, a lot of viewers ask us about all these nutrition things. And I just want to try you to answer some. For example, Konrad Raphael from Tanzania who wants to know which food can help to lower the blood sugar level. Well, of course, this is how diet started in medicine, you know, with uh, uh, this, this problem. We know that uh, complex carbohydrates uh, slow down the resorption of glucose, and that's very important to have um, flatter curves of glucose in the blood, and that's uh, very efficient for people with diabetes, but also for others. So that's, that's very important. And then, of course, there are some food, well, additives, you might say, uh, like cinnamon, that help lower the, uh, the blood glucose level, but you have to take very high doses, so you really have to be a fan of that. Mm -hmm. And at the moment, uh, we, d we don't have um, an idea of how to compose a diet that is uh, optimal to lower blood glucose, except for these few roads that I mentioned. But a different question from two parts out of this world. Doni Bass from Australia and Sarah Aldali from Dubai wrote in to ask whether certain foods can relieve irritable bowel syndrome. Well, this is, of course, a problem all over the world. And uh, we have the impression that it goes along with the Western diet, especially with the consumption of certain cereals, of certain breads and all this. But um, there are people who profit from uh, avoiding certain um, sugars like lactose, the milk sugar, or fructose, the uh, sugar that is contained in many uh, vegetables and fruit. So uh, this is just a part of the population, but there are many others who m might uh, have a profit from avoiding coffee. Dr. Stanger, what kind of substances from plants or phytochemicals would you recommend using instead of antibiotics? Well, we've seen the most important in the movie um, uh, compounds of garlic, of radish, uh, of mustard, of honey, and there are probably a lot of others. And this field is uh, rapidly emerging and we, we learn a lot about uh, their antibiotic uh, capacities. And at the moment, uh, we don't have the idea that there are any resistances. But of course, we've thought this in medicine many times and we're wrong. Okay. Are there other advantages for taking plants as antibiotics? 
Well, of course, you can use this with your normal food. Like, it has been very uh, common feature to take uh, uh, like a radish with fish, and I think this this was done intuitively because uh, it makes you more resistant against the contamination of bacteria on the fish. So, can I just go out in the garden and and get my own antibiotics? From, from my garden or do we have to you can try it like if you yeah. if you have um, certain uh, infections of upper airways or the urinary tract that are not complicated you can try this of course and um, at the moment we have some uh, drugs that con contain compounds of radish and uh, mustard I find it really, really complicated to maintain a healthy, balanced diet. You need to be an expert to do so. So isn't it easier just to go into the pharmacy and get some um, supplements? Well, this is, of course, uh, heavily debated. And there are tendencies in the Western countries uh, that many people, healthy young people, take uh, these additives all the time. I'm very critical about this. And I think that we have uh, sufficient resources in nature and the food that is delivered by nature to get enough supply to maintain our health. Okay, what about the apple a day? Does it really keep the doctor away? Uh, well, there's been contradictory uh, evidence about this very interesting questions because you always have to exclude confounders, which is very uh, hard. If the apple is only symbolic for a healthy lifestyle, then it's true. But uh, if you make the effort and just count the amount of apples that one consumes and that has ordinary lifestyle, uh, it doesn't matter much how many apples you consume. And, and what is your personal tip for a healthy nutrition or for a home remedy out of nutrition? What's your personal well, favorite? Variety, I think, is the basic principle. And nature is so rich all over the world. And conditions in Asia are different from Africa and Europe. And you find healthy food everywhere. Variety, fresh vegetables and fresh fruit. And of course, um, interesting modes of cooking, of adding spices. All this is very important in our daily life. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Stange, for being with us in the studio. Thank, Thank you. you.